Hello there, everybody. My name is Master Alpha, and welcome to West Rose Total War Age of Petty Kings, a total conversion mod of Medieval 2 Total War, which changes the entirety of the base game of Medieval 2 to the Game of Thrones universe. If you're unfamiliar with the Game of Thrones universe, it's basically a fictional world where dragons, incest, and zombies are all around, mixed in with a, a few bits of political intrigue and magic. Unfortunately, the uh, West Rose Total War Age of Petty Kings sub mod takes place about a thousand years before the events of the books as well as the TV show. So if you were expecting the same type of dragon incest action that's in the TV show as well as the books, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. But, but if you want a quick little, I guess, history lesson as to what were the houses of Westeros doing before the events of the books as well as the TV show, in fact, more specifically about a thousand years before the events of the books and the TV show, then you're gonna be pretty darn interested in this mod, which is pretty darn good. Now, unfortunately, the mod only takes place in the continent of Westeros, so you can't play as a Dothraki and go crazy over Essos, but you can play as the notable as well as the least notable houses of the Westeros continent. So, I wanted to at first play as Stark, but without Hodor, it's just... We can't just hold all around throughout the Northern Territory, so in general, I don't really want to play as them. Lannister is a little bit dull without my main man, Tyrion, and House Martell was kind of my next choice because I really do like Oberyn, but without the actual people that make that are from these factions that are part of the books as well as the TV show, it, it, it does seem like a little bit of the love, the charm is gone. <laughs> Who wants to play as a descendant of Oberyn when you want to play as Oberyn himself, but you know what, that's all good. I kind of also wanted to play as House Estermont, just because this turtle insignia is so ridiculous that I'm just like, why don't, what, what is it, the great turtle rise above and claim the Iron Throne? But you know what, we're going to be playing as House Grey Iron, the Iron Islands, the Ironborn, because in general they are one of the coolest cultures, in my opinion, that exists in Westeros, because they take whatever they want and they don't give shits about what people think of them. Also, they have a uh, pretty cool units, and I like them. Now, House Grey Iron is going to be a little bit difficult for us because we have to keep up our navy as well as our uh, army, which means we have two aspects of warfare we have to deal with. Whereas, in comparison to something like one of these factions that's a little bit more inland, they only have to focus on their army units. That's really about it. We also have to fight a war against a rebel faction early on, so. In general, we're a little bit swamped in warfare for the early parts of our game, but in general, things are going to be a little bit better as time progresses and we're able to establish a little bit of a foothold on Westeros. By the way, if you guys are a little bit anal about pronunciations in uh, the Westeros universe, you're going to hate me because I'm going to probably mispronounce everything, so really sorry about that. Anyway, these are the modders who... Uh, made the, the mod and honestly they deserve all of the love and attention that they're getting right about now because this mod is incredible and hasn't crashed my computer yet so god bless you okay so here's the wedding at pike and like i said i'm no uh, i'm going to probably butcher every single name possible like look at this house a uh, king Ulron. i really can't pronounce that or what is what's another good little word that i can completely trash house horror 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 you, you see this? You see this word? This thing that shouldn't exist in English? I can't pronounce that. But, it's all good. So anyway, here's our here's our empire. We have ten towers. We have Orc Mount. We have Hammerhorn. Yeah. And a lot of our, a large portion of our fleet as well as our army units are actually scattered about. So, we're gonna have to try and regroup them. Did he just say Kaiser? Course plotted. Yeah. Fleet yeah. ready. Fleet ready. Kaiser. You see? Oh my god. The Iron Border Germans. I feel like Hitler's gonna come out of nowhere and punch me in the nose now. Hmm. I didn't know the Iron Border were German. It's, it's very interesting. I'm learning so much already. Alright. So let's see. Currently we have... Ooh. Well, dude. I, I feel like you're you're not helping her out. You're, you're kind of drowning her to death. But you know what? That's okay. She's a heathen. She deserves to be drowned. Uh, let's see now. Here's Pike, the rebel city we, we have to capture back in order to essentially secure our domain over these islands. Now, these guys do have a sizable fleet as well as a good amount of forces at the start. Which means, in general, trying to take them out early on is probably going to be the most important thing for us. Now, we could just, like, surround their island with a 
bunch of, well, I don't know what the hell that was. We could surround their island with a bunch of fleet naval vessels and destroy their fleet and afterwards trap them in pike. Or we could also invade them. Yeah, well, that's also another option. We do have Drowned Gods Chosen and a couple of Grey Iron Raiders. Some Ironborn Archers, some good Brother Raiders. So we do have the forces necessary to beat them back. I'm going to go ahead and probably uh, increase my income a little bit by getting some of these mines really early on. Might seem like a bad choice, but I feel like right now, at this stage of the game, we have the military units necessary to beat him back. And we'll build one ship. Okay, seems about right. We do have a little dude over here, Ralph the Raffel, who's just kind of chilling about. Stuck on his little island over here. We will probably pick him up later on. Now, in terms of the raiders that we can get, I think the best ones are probably the, from what I've heard, the Harla Raiders. Hmm, they have about five attack, nine total defense. Actually, no, wait, they're probably not the best. No, they're the exact same thing as the Grey Iron Raiders, which means they just have different skins. And that's about it. Well, the, the Harla Raiders look the best. I mean, look at them. They have, like, the scythe on their shields. They, they're not using scythes, but you know what? That's all good. It's all good. You can use your axe, boy. Just have the the scythe on your shield, and that's all. It's all fine. Actually, no wait. I think they might actually be, use scythes. Hold on a sec. Eh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check that out when we get into the battles. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Nine. The enemy is engaging us. Ooh, I never, never actually wanted to fight them this early on. I wanted to group together my fleet over here. Uh, one to one ratio. 351 men versus his 301. Oh, hard on the cards. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, we just caused his entire fleet to retreat back all the way to the Shadow Realm. Now, this is interesting. His fleet retreated back, right? That was the majority of his ships. His massive army. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. His massive army. Just we jumped not surrender these onto these ships easily. over here. So, what I'm trying, what I'm thinking about is, one, we park our army oh, on this island, just in Kaiser. case, you know, we lose this battle. Yeah. We group together our ships, Ready. and we attack his fleet right about now, while he has enemy. his entire massive force of dudes on these three little ships over here. We all resolve it, we kill his army, we kill his um, three ships over here, and then we attack Pike with everything we got. Seems like a good plan. I really do like this plan, and honestly, I feel like it has no faults whatsoever, other than the fact that he can roll, like, I don't know, a really, really lucky dice and, I guess, win in the RNG Jesus battle. You know what? I feel like we have the cho we have the, the troops necessary to make this work. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, yeah! Lost three ships. Oh, no, no, wait, no. We sunk three of his ships. Bam. Fuck you! Glory for the Kaiser. Glory for the Ironborn. <laughs> Was that an attack? Okay, so there goes most of his fleet, and now we can go ahead and put in our dudes. I'm just going to go ahead and take out these guys, actually, for the most part. Um, two drowned priests are pretty good. Actually, no, wait, they're drowned men. All right, land and wow, this was super easy. Holy shit, the AI is dumb as balls. All right, I'm just gonna group together all of my little troops over here like so, and then afterwards, let's just chill out for the most part. Should probably pick up the troops over here as well. Yeah, definitely. And the troops in ten towers as well. All right, let's. Pretty much it. The Pike is dead. They have no troops whatsoever. Like, I mean, nothing. They only have Uller Greyjoy, who's the biggest dick sucker in the Iron Islands. And also, we have Quentin the Beggar King, who's a beggar. So, yeah, I'm surprised to say they're pretty much fucked. I mean, they have a ton of ships, but I mean, it's not going to work out for them. You want us gone? Then we will see you at the Okay, time to attack Pike. Your honor, Kaiser, attack. Laying siege, Holy Kaiser. 
Alright, maintain the siege. I am indeed the Holy Kaiser. You will worship me. Worship me like a god. We will see you. We will see you. Where's my fleet? Oh, there they are. Well, I, I got a little bit stuck actually because I couldn't actually see my fleet, but whatever. Get these guys in here, and then afterwards we can go to Ten Towers and get you guys. And now we have a pretty sizable raiding force. Mm, I don't really want to lose my ships though, but I do want to try and start in to attack whoever's to uh, the closest, I guess, proximity of Ten Towers. Because in general, Ten Towers is probably going to be a really good staging area to just like build up some troops, resupply, and attack um, whoever is whoever it is is, is closest to the Ten Towers. It's unfortunate that Ten Towers is uh, looks kind of like every other castle. It doesn't actually have you know ten towers. That that would be that'd be pretty darn cool. It now has like what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towers, eight maybe. You lie to me, ten towers. Lie. All right, let's just go ahead and move our fleet over here, just in case Arn Jesus wants to go ahead and destroy everything that we love on these ships. I mean, granted, if we do lose this force of guys, it's not the end of the world. It's not like the fuck up that the AI did. But you know what? prefer not to lose guys unnecessarily especially since I've built like what two mines so far so don't really have a lot of military units okay so we're getting about 480 gold from the mines pretty darn good and if we get mining networks we would get even more gold I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth though yeah whatever attack pike the Reich marches to glory. Alright, let's see. 63 dudes, 111. Oh, thank heaven. Let's go ahead and auto resolve this because he's not going to get out of this anytime soon. Yep, 86 dudes lost. But nobody important, right? No, just like a couple of drowned men and some great iron raiders. None of the drowned gods chosen. They are the gods chosen after all, so. Who cares about them? Alrighty then, so we could maintain the local elites, gain about 298 florins. We could massacre the population, gain a ton of florins, or we could assimilate the settlement and gain a ton of florins, but kill a large portion of the population. Well, they worship the same god as us, so I guess we should just maintain the local elites. We don't want to have a full on rebellion again, because having rebels in your cities is always a terrible, terrible, terrible thing, especially if they have some nonsense like, I don't know, um, an I uh, uh, like, I don't know, if they're an island or something like that, because it's always difficult to try and quell an island. Alrighty then, so, who's the next target? Well, we have Banefort over here, and Banefort looks like a lovely place to attack. Let's see who we're actually at war with. Oh, we're at war with no one. We're allied with House Mud, but that's really about it. House Mud. The House of Mud. You know what? I'll adopt you, my son. I'll adopt you. Yeah. And we'll go down south and see what the hell's up. Uh, let's see. You guys over here are... Pretty weak. Pretty darn weak. In fact, taking over this settlement might be a pretty good idea. We have Castamir men at arms, though. Ooh, they have a ton of armor. Hmm. Drawn gods chosen are a little bit better than them, however. So if I get those guys on the mainland and start going down south, I can definitely crush these fools. Let's see, who are they at war with? Oh, House Lannister. Interesting. Okay. So House Lannister is like one of the big factions of Westeros. If you guys are fighting a golf against House Lannister, I feel like your days are actually numbered. So we can probably group together some units and conquer Banefort and then go down south and conquer the rest of your cities. Seems like a good idea. House Mud is to the east of us, so they're not ever going to attack us. They love us. Like, look at this. House Mud has trade rights, military access. They have military access. All around pretty good stuff. 
have a ton of cash. Do I want to save that up for God's Chosen? Or do I want to save up for Mining Networks? Probably Mining Networks, just to get our economy floating about. Alright, pretty darn good stuff. Everybody you can get her in. Oh, damn it. I'm born, you're not German. Stop. Kaiser nonsense. Kaiser, Kaiser, it's like Pokemon. Kaiser, Kaiser. Yeah. Okay, let's grab our bowl, my guys, and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, you guys can get out, put in the raiders, I don't want to have any of those really weak troops in my army composition, drop men, they have four attack, four total defense, they deserve to just drown, but priests too, oh, why the hell would I get priests to fight for me, come on now, this isn't like the warrior monks in Shogun 2, how do I declare war on yeah. someone? Do I, I? I keep forgetting how do you declare war on someone in Evil 2. Do I just go like, hey, fuck you. Hold on a sec. Let me just figure this contraption out. Or I could just land, I guess. Move yeah, I can just land and then attack. Oh, there we go. God bless. That's how I will declare war. Yes. I keep forgetting how you declare war. It's... It's been a while. It has definitely been a while. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our forces from Pike over here and send them to Bainfort, probably. You can get these generals as well as the drowned men. Pretty good stuff. He's gonna try and defend Bainfort, but he's not gonna get far. He's not gonna get far whatsoever. So you have like a couple of troops here, are really the main fleet, so we don't have to worry too much about a big massive party just like interrupting our fun. Craig's pretty darn weak. You're at war with some dudes, aren't you? I mean, not just Lannister, but another force of dudes, right? Oh no. You're just grouping up your guys together for one massive push. Oh shit. You guys are no pushovers at all. Oh, we'll just land over here and then just chill out around Pike so that we don't have any fleets doing any nonsense against some of our islands. The great and glorious Iron Islands. Like, can we just conquer these fools? Or are they going to reinforce the fort at Bane Fort? Oh, they won't be able to actually reinforce. You know what? God bless. Let's go ahead and just fight these guys because they have a little bit of stars to them. That's all around pretty darn bad. To have some stars 